She clocked in Celebrity guests Never guess who gon' drop in Television's best Like a S on the chest Who's next? Say less Cause you rockin' with You rockin' with the best Yeah, more clock Post it with the poster Stay in turn on your radio Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Mo Clark with the post up on Status Network Global Vision TV. We in the building. I know y'all might have missed me last weekend or whenever. Sometimes I have to call in to my own damn job and I'm the boss. So I, I do write me up though. I do I do write me up and I give myself a good talking to. And then I come back next week and call in the week after that. So y'all won't see me next week, but I'm here today. And I am super excited because... I got my little cousin here with me today. Mr. Mike, are, are we going by Michael Montana now? Are we, what happened? Yeah, what Michael happened? Montana. Okay, Same. we we doing this. It. Okay, cool. Every time I start something, I have to invite Michael. Michael been thugging it out with me since I was a quartet. Oh, God. A quartet. I was part of a four-man duo when Michael first met me in person. But then I was like, Michael, look, take this out. I want to interview you, but I'm, 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 I'm doing my show out of a hotel lobby. Michael said, okay. And he came. And, then, and so now, look, we got, we got the little screen. I ain't going to say blue walls. Oh, uh -huh. I just let them know the walls was blue. My bad, y'all. But, we, you know, we got the setup. And, yeah. you know, we got some graphics. We looking like 106 and park up in here. You know, we doing it. And I'm super excited. Indeed. Couldn't think of a better person to share it with. Thank so. You. Thank you. Mr. Montana. Yes, ma'am. Before we get into your interview, now mm -hmm. I know, I know uh -huh. you in the industry. Okay. Right? Okay. And I know some of this shit you might not be able to give your opinion on. And it's okay because I will freely talk shit for me and for you. Okay. Okay? So, we finna jump into Moments with Mo and see who did what. And I guarantee you I ain't got everybody because they been wilding out. They always do. Let's get it. Let's see Let's what we go. got. Me. All right, so we jumping in the moments with Mo. Who's first? Let me see what I done did. Them racks here. All right, all right. Let's let's make this short and sweet, okay? Cause you know the people ain't gonna come. Shit, they ain't gonna come find. Show me what you got. All right, so a lot of people are getting in trouble for mm -hmm. the PPP loan, okay? Mm -hmm. Now here's the problem in this situation. The story that I'm about to tell you uh -huh. is in Atlanta, okay? Uh -huh. But please understand that PPP fraud does not discriminate, and it is nationwide everywhere, mm -hmm. okay? So a young man, I ain't giving no names, y'all, because it was a lot of names, okay? But there was one ringleader that was in Georgia. He helped get $11 million worth of fraudulent PPP money okay they was creating fake IRS forms they was creating fake businesses they were saying they had employees I'm not really sure how this shit went wrong but I'm willing to bet it was the fact that they were buying luxury vehicles okay 
So y'all couldn't just go get a 2016 Dodge Charger like everybody else. Now because y'all couldn't follow up protocol and get you a little box Impala or whatever, now they looking at every damn body. This shit is stupid. When I say, listen, the, he got $11 million total, but he was helping these people get $500,000 from make-believe businesses. I'm talking about they ain't got employee the first and yes, the government does not discriminate. They taking the women's ass to jail too. This is just Man. I I don't I personally don't think I would survive jail because if I have no way to do my eyebrows up in that bitch, we gonna yeah. have it's gonna listen, it's gonna be a creature. And I'm I'm fully I take ownership of my face with eyebrows. Really okay. I do. Okay. So Michael, what do okay. you think about like I said, it ain't just Georgia, but this is this one was. Mm. He's in Georgia. He helped people Everywhere I'm talking about Tampa, Alpharetta. For real, eleven uh, million. Why didn't, come why didn't come to the south side? Ele he helped everybody. Stockbridge, Jonesboro, yeah. Skip, Clay County. I don't, I, I, like I said, it's twenty-two people. I mean, I think I probably got. I think, I, I think he probably hit me up. Did he? No. Nah. Listen, I, want, I, I we'll, hope we'll you bought you a Dodge Charger because I'm telling you this. this, this. Uh -huh. I'm buying me a house and planning this and, 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 and then I'm going to build. I'm saying, why not buy rental property and flip your money? I want to just buy Dodge Landmark, period. And then I'm going to sell all the charges. And then, right. I'm just saying, like, what would. Mm, I just don't understand. And then, especially with the COVID and people losing jobs and shit, and you just came up with $500,000. You never had a business. Man, right there. If you made that much money to get back $500,000, do you realize how much money you would have had to make in 2019? If you made that much money in 2019, how you broke? Anyway, never mind. I don't know. I don't know. I know nothing about the PPP yeah, no. loan. I just know what's reported in the news. Next! Now, see, this is one of those stories I said you might not be able to talk about. Mm. But I'm going to talk about it. The baby and the no-no. Okay. So... Oh, child, the baby, listen, when I first pulled the story yesterday, it was only like one or two things, but it's done escalating, and he's just doing a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. So he's at Rolling Loud, is that what it is? Rolling Loud, he's giving this awesome performance where mm -hmm. someone chucks a shoe at him, mm -hmm. okay, and that, mm -hmm. that was okay. I don't know if the shoe was thrown before or after he said, don't clap if you're getting your dick sucked by a man. That was deep. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if he was just in the moment or somebody moment. He was in something like I don't know. I just think he was. He was feeling good and it went a little bit l left, you know. Mm -hmm. But he's had other celebrities, Ti and other people, telling him it's okay. He can pop his shit because Ten. Lil Nas X can say what he wants to say. Ten. He can do videos how he wants to do it, and Ten. everybody is expected to just. Oh shit, he's using the props. Everybody is expected to just go along with it, but then when he says what he says, it's a whole situation. Now I'm just gonna tell y'all, I have no problem with the LGBT. I gotta stop there because I really don't know all the letters. They keep adding letters, and it's I, I just don't know. Oh, uh, what? What have say. you say? The LGBTQ. So oh. I, I, I don't know all the letters. I'm serious. And I'm not going to sit here and say it because black Twitter, which ain't black Twitter for me, it's black YouTube. They like to drag my ass. And I really don't feel like getting drugged this week. I don't. It's just it's just it's been a rough week. So I'm not doing that shit with y'all. But um, listen, if I say <clears throat> ever there is a community that sticks together, they stick together whether they like each other or not. That community they like Ugh. them in the beehive. You can't say shit about the LGBTQ community or Beyonce. Listen, they they will cancel you so damn fast that shit is retarded. So the baby is losing endorsements, which I really I'm inclined to say he doesn't give a shit. I don't think that he cares. I think he knew what he was doing. He said whatever he wanted to say. I don't think he's worried about 
anything or anybody. Mm -hmm. He's doing what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. So, on top of that, he released a video last night, I think. Mm -hmm. And he's still talking shit. <laughs> he has been called out by Sir Elton John. I talked about this with my kids last night. They were like, who? Okay, so Elton John is a really big 70s star. Mm -hmm. And he was knighted by the royal family in London. So he is Sir Elton John. So he carries weight with them and them okay. and the others. And I still think Baby doesn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. I saw, I, listen, I've been going on the Baby's post. I've been looking at his videos. Mm-mm. Micah, hmm. what you think? No status out right now. I want baby on the song anyway. I got. I, I'm, I'm gonna get at him. Good answer. I'm gonna get at my boy. As you should. Mm -hmm. He's still catching slack because Megan the Stallion is upset because the baby performed his verse on her song Cash Shit. I get allegedly she was in the back. Uh -huh. Then he performed with Tory Lanez. Now she's saying, well, her team is saying they feel very disrespected simply for the fact that. She was backstage, and Tory Lanez is supposed to stay 100 feet away from her. Man, why did she be going on there, man? At the concert. What concert? At the Rolling Loud event. Oh, I can't wait to perform that, too. That shit be crazy. Don't let nobody throw no damn shoe at you. I heard it hurts. Nah, that shit cool. Throwing a shoe? Man, you got to pay attention to your... You got to pay attention. And that's what he did. I he did. Sure. He did dodge it real quick. Yeah, that's cause shit, shit cool, Reflex. man. It's, it, you got to understand, man. Like, this is... This is like, <clears throat> you got to understand art. Like art, shit is beautiful. Listen, you, you I've, I've only really performed on Tinder, so I don't. Know. Man, listen, bro. If you if, if you sit, if you on stage and I'm just paying attention to everybody's performance, but I'm so fucked up to how many people is out there. Hmm. This shit, like, I can't wait till they call my phone or something. Well, Man, I, I keep that ahead. same energy in a few minutes, okay? Man, Who's next, uh, Jojo? Keep that same energy, yeah, yeah. okay? Just don't don't take it nowhere. Okay, look, uh, did y'all see this shit? Did y'all see this video? I ain't gonna say, well, I don't have the video, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, PJ Washington plays for the Charlotte Hornets. That is his new baby mama, mm -hmm. Brittany Renner, who, from my understanding, she is an IG model, okay? That's what they refer to her as, uh -huh. an IG model. Uh -huh. Young Brittany, I call her young, she's only 29, uh -huh. but according to them, her and him, she's an old head. She's a cougar. Since when did being 29? Okay, whatever. Fuck it. But she made a video talking about athletes are extremely dumb because they like to have sex with no condom. So if you're looking for a come up, sleep with an athlete, get pregnant, and let that be that. Poor PJ. Um, poor PJ has... It taken to social media to say that she never cared about him anyway. Now, in case I'm missing something in this story, she got pregnant, she had a baby, and she broke up with him after she had the baby. And she is seeking to collect a check. Now, here's the thing. Young Brittany wrote a tell-all book about everybody in the industry she had had relations with. Now, I don't know if PJ didn't read the book or if he just thought he was going to be different or what the hell happened. I don't know. I'm Listen, I'm waiting for them to put bodies on sale on Black Friday so I can buy me one. Because that seemed like the best come up to me. It seemed like when you go buy you a body, that is your best investment at this point. And, and that's just, you don't need no damn talent after that. You just get, listen, I... I don't I don't know. This is this is beyond me. At first, reality shows had everybody wearing makeup. That was the reason I got in the game. I wanted to be a celebrity face. But all of a sudden, everybody buying goddamn bodies. Like how? Like are they listen, are they on a payment plan? Are they two for one? Are you taking your bestie? What the hell is happening? But look, Brittany, she's saying some shit that everybody has known. Okay, but I don't know if she just, and I can't even say she got caught on tape saying it. Getting caught is when you having a slick conversation with somebody and somebody sneak in and record you. Her ass didn't get caught. She 
put the phone in her face and said, athletes are stupid and they don't wear condoms and this is the come up. Mm. Filmed by herself, by herself, written by herself, starring herself. That's <laughs> some dumb ass shit. So now it's like, who do you be mad at in that situation? Michael, you in the industry, listen. Mm -hmm. Your lyrics say, I tied up my dress. I mean, come on, Michael. What, tell, tell, what, tell the people, what the hell? Like, you got, you do have to watch out for these females, but these men are going after these type of females. You a whole IG, listen. What's an IG model? Oh. Uh -huh. What is an IG model? What the hell is that? What is that? A girl that go on IG and model her body. The the body she purchased. Okay, I got you. I I say the rest. Man, I, 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 I mean, man, it's a lot of confidence in the world, man. It sure is, especially after you buy your body. I, I ain't against it though. I'm not against it either. I mean, shit. Man, guess guess what, man. I, listen, you can't be you. You can't be bad. Nobody. I, I I had I listen. I asked questions. I have a friend who purchased her some new breast. Okay. And I I talked to her and I said, sis, I ain't trying to be funny. Like I was very uncomfortable approaching the situation. Why? You know Cause I, I knew she looked different, but I didn't want to. That's the that's the dopest part about it. Your friend is different, so that means she did something that was that that that, that probably lifted her spirit. She did. Uh, so and so she was very, she was very forthcoming. She was very informative. She was like, "Sis, it's only six thousand dollars." What is like? What is it silicone? Or it takes some fat out. What's going on? What's that going was on? silicone, and they have different types now. They have one called the gummy bear, and I was like, "What the fuck is a gummy bear?" But it's like they got one that's silicone, then they got one that ain't silicone. So what the gummy bear? I used to eat them back in the G. Like gummy bear, you know like, it's they, not, they. it's not, it's it's like a jelly. Everybody. And they put the flat bag up there first, right? Hey, listen, I think that's all. I mean, I, I think that's the new wave. But they wave. go through your name. Listen. It's, that's the new wave, man. The, the only $6,000 had me stuck, though. Because. Uh, right, man. It's I'm thinking about, about that 500000 PPP loan money. And if I had that, the only 6000 wouldn't have me so stuck. Because I'd be like, shh. Yeah, yeah. It's only $6,000. You know what I'm saying? So that made sense. I wonder if he finna go to jail. Because I might need to call him. I wonder if he got time to do one more before. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Jojo, who next? Let me see. Who I got? Hey, speaking of breast. <laughs> Listen, on this show, we do not discriminate. I talk about the African Americans and the Caucasians. And baby, when I tell you Britney Spears is posting her chi chis every day living her best life, Britney don't give two fucks. Britney got the girls out. Okay, on damn near every post that she is posting, Britney got the girls out. If F my daddy was a person, it's Britney. It is Britney. Britney is going through a lot with the back and forth with her daddy, talking about her daddy didn't want her to have kids. He made her take birth control. He made her do this, this, and this, and this, and this. Baby, she is celebrating, controlling her own Instagram and doing what she wants to do. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Some of them, I be watching her page, some of them angles that she be putting her phone in and make her look like uh, a little person, a mm -hmm. dwarf. It, it make her look funny. But she can still dance. I mean, some of her posts be giving, whew, I can't say black Twitter going to drag me, but the Caucasian Twitter is going to drag me for this. So I'm just going to give this disclosure. I'm sorry. I'm just telling y'all what she looked like. Some of Britney's posts give off drug, drug head vibes. They do. Because she in there, she dancing real hard. You know, she, she, she made a video the other day where she put out this big old piece of white paper and she painted for no reason. She painted barefoot. That's a lot of money. When you could just paint, when you could just do shit in your house that normal people can't do, like, I can't even stretch that, that piece of paper. I can't even stretch half of that out in my apartment. But Brittany can. And she just showing titties and painting. It must be nice to be so rich. What's the, let me, let me hit this PPP dude up. I ain't even playing no more. <laughs> what, who, who next? Brittany, show the girls. Do what you got to do. Even if you, oh, I do have something next. I have a video. You don't see the video? Let's go. Nigga, let's go. Man, what's up? Hey. Man, I stole that from Keisha Page. Thank you, Keisha. Because I couldn't find the rest of the footage. Oh, Michael. Huh? Montana. Yo, we in the building. You was turned up per mm -hmm. usual. Mm -hmm. Can I just say, 
I know you got other music, mm-hmm. you know. And I told you when that song come on, I turned to a whole stripper. It's a true story. Okay. It is a true story. Mind. I think I'm about to take that song to the Pink Pony and audition after I buy my body. Okay. But I might not have to buy one to go to a Pink Pony. Mm-mm. They don't. They just you know Man, do a little wiggle, do. wiggle, wiggle, yeah. jiggle, jiggle. Okay. Man. Now, Man. I am so happy to uh-huh. see you performing this song because I know for a minute right. you weren't doing that. Yes. And I have seen growth in you. Thank you. I have seen you at celebrity basketball games mm-hmm. with K Camp. I have seen you perform this track that I ain't think you was gonna be doing, but you're doing it, and I am so happy yes, that I you're am. doing it because, regardless of everything that you put out, I, I that, that song is a part of Atlanta history. Period. For sure. It just is like. I remember hearing it when I first moved to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I remember hearing it years after I first moved to Atlanta. It was in every DJ's nighttime mix. Mm-hmm. All that. We had the club. First of all, the DJs got to stop lying to y'all about being at the goddamn club. <laughs> That's what they got to do. Because they will have your ass get dressed and go to an empty ass club. I just want to let you know that Atlanta DJs be standing in the middle of the floor lit by they damn self. They be like, it's packed in the building. And you show up and ain't nobody there but him and the bartender. <laughs> I'm sorry. Salute to DJs. That that salute to y'all DJs, but damn it, I'm not finna waste my good eyelashes for you and the bartender and the dude at the door that's trying to overcharge me and hold the no line. Yes, hold the no line. Thank you. Okay. But Michael, you uh, that song is a part of ATL history. So congratulations yeah, to you. you. That footage was you at 107.9 birthday bash Ooh. 2021. Thirteen years ago. What did that feel like? Oh man, that was the most like. Oh, uh, that was. I still feel it. I still feel it. That shit crazy. I still feel it. it was a rush. Like as I told you, like performing that record, like I lost the feeling for it. Like I lost the, I lost the love for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I lost the the grind for it. I just like forget it. Fuck it. I don't even want to, I don't even, you know, I, I, you know how I, I, I just, I got in that lane. Mm-hmm. So, of course, coming out there on that stage and just seeing them, like, I'm like, wait, the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. So, that's when you might see me, like, I would try to hurry up and buffer myself up in the back, like, all right, all right, I need to come on out, I need to cool down, I need to stay still, I need to wipe myself off, I need to put this thick ass <laughs> hoodie back on, bro, because they got to see this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, as I, you know, I peek around, look through the, I said, oh, shit. You ain't ready. It's a lot of people. Yeah. So it's like, I wonder if they're going to got, like, my, like, in my head, I just might not say this, well, I'm going to say this for myself. I didn't, I didn't, you know, when other artists come out and make music and, mm-hmm. like, everybody moved to where they're going, everybody moved to where the beat is beating. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, it's like, me, I was really on the, I was really on some, bring myself up to speed so I can feel what I'm supposed to be feeling, like, yeah. I, like and how I'm supposed to be seeing myself, you know what I'm saying? And how other people look at me. To like, bro, you might, um, okay, cool. Birthday bash, Atlanta, like, that day, bro, showed me, like, no, bro, we love you, bro. Like, you are part of our college history, bro. Like, but to see, like, to run down at the hit them, like, I can, it's crazy how I can tell you now what they were saying, but I was hearing it then. I'm like, like, it be tunnel vision. That's yeah. why, that's why. I, I why I perform in my own zone. Like it be yeah. tunnel vision. I I walk out there. I walked out there to see it. Like and they were like, it was like, I said, oh shit. But I knew it was on too. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, okay, it's time to play. It's time to, it's time. To, okay, cool. Boom. As I walking down, I'm they my people telling me that people I seen them, but it was like, what the hell? Like they coming. They running towards yeah, they, you. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? And 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 because of like their energy, my energy, bro, it was like, man, we pulled out, bro, I started crying. Because it was like, to work, like, we, we we as artists, bro, we, me as an artist, I deal with, like, rap anxiety. Uh. 
being an artist is it's not just gl- like it's not it's not a glamour lifestyle like mm-hmm. bro this you, you gotta really treat this shit like a job bro 13 10 years ago bro like I when I performed on that stage then it was like when I, as I look back that's what I should have did what I should have did was go got the old footage when I performed that birthday pass, right? Right. You would have seen how I had it on those custom, but my like you can you of course the longer you live, the, you know the more time you have time to grow. Right. So how I'm talking now, I wasn't like that then, but I'm saying like then I felt like yeah, nigga, I worked this hard. Not I pulled me on birthday pass. Mhm. But like you said, you stop. So in the midst of me stopping, I was figuring myself out. Yeah. So now if you see me now performing or I can go in the crowd, I can I can feel myself. I don't have to have on jury. I can go out there. They're going to love me because of what I bring to them because the people are vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Regardless. like, And if you came to spend your money and watch us perform and you want to hear your favorite song, I'm a, I'm a fan of me too. So... That when, I'm, when I'm up there doing, I'm doing, trust me, I'm excited my heart up even more. Like, go, Mike, nigga, go. <laughs> go to the left side, nigga, go. I'm telling myself, like, go. And the whole time, yeah. I'm hearing people like, Mike, oh, tell us how's that. Like, I'm like, whoa, this shit is crazy. Yeah. And it's fun because I missed that part. Yeah. I never got a chance to hear, like, people tell me what that record meant to them while there was any screen. Really? Because I tell you every time I see you. Not you. Oh, okay. Because that, 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 that was always important, and I always appreciated it. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. always appreciate That's the biggest thing. That's not small to me. Because it takes a lot for a person to even come tell you, like, bro, I fuck with your music, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm playing that shit every day. Nigga, you hard. Nigga, you tell you where I was at. At that time in my life, nigga, when you dropped that, I was getting pissed off for real. But nigga, you tell yeah. where I was at my life, nigga, right at the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, but right. y'all was feeling it. So that means music do have a an impact on the people, and only you can expose your life to them to make them not like you or to make them love you. So I want them to, like, love who I Listen, am. Listen, that's on the yeah. I'm finna be lit playlist, period. Show. Sure. Period. And like, it's back pumping again. It, and they never stop. No, what you mean, back? I just check my fucking views. That's what I'm saying. Like, it on, never stops. On the radio spins, though. Oh, well... It's like you, it's like you done like 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 how can a record ten years old still like stay they they planning like I never heard of that. That's, so who's surprised? No, because that, that I'm not surprised. That means I'm gonna go down like a legend. When I tell you when you first walked in, man, come on. I told you this. Like come I on. just For to real. me how how you're saying the reaction that you get from everybody else. You got to think. I moved to Atlanta. I ain't gonna tell y'all how many years ago, but it's been quite a minute, okay? Mm-hmm. And when I look at Soldier Boy, when I look at Escape, when I look at those artists, So So Dev, all those artists, all that time frame, I put you in that category. Like, Shut that up. is my Atlanta Rolodex. Pin it just him. is. Shorty Low, all those artists. And I think it's amazing. Especially, you know, obviously, we don't have our first interview on camera. I don't think couldn't have but when you came in that night you kind of discussed being young starting a business starting going through things you know what I'm saying and a lot of people go through things when they start out even me like I'm still trying to figure this media stuff out some days you wake up and you want to quit I tell people this all the time I gotta stop saying it out loud but I do say it and I say it because I feel like when you have a certain look sometimes, not to offend anybody, but for the the ladies that purchase their bodies, they get opportunities without talent sometimes. I ain't saying all of them have no talent, okay? I'm just saying some of them, their talent is not their speaking. Mm -hmm. Their talent is not their interview skills mm-hmm. their talent is simply looking good in a spandex dress which i got on the spandex dress today and i work and you know i got my mom built on but that's neither here nor there what i'm saying is that when you look at how long you've been grinding how long you've been hustling mm-hmm. versus somebody that just popped out of damn nowhere and they interviewing michael b jordan you like sis can't even spell she can't how 
But you got to have that happen. You got to stay pure. You got to stay. I pure. agree. You I agree. Because because that that's what I have. That's why that's why I last the way I last. That's how that's how that's why I'm here to this day. Mm -hmm. I mind my business. And when I see artists do certain shit, like 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 I watch not Lil Nas X, right? Right. <clears throat> I watched him to watch what he was like. What he was trying to get us to. What, what point he was trying to get across? I'm not afraid of what what most people could be afraid of. Like I'm like put it in my face. Let me see it, cause I'm no, I know myself. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So I want to look at like okay, all right, this ain't my thing, but I like the art of how he trying to like. You get what I'm saying? He creating his own life. He create and like it's cool. That's what he get paid for. Like right. what's personal is personal, baby. Man, listen, I'm sitting here like this. Okay. Shout out with the judge. Okay, cool. I ain't into the. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're into the. you looking at it from different eyes. Yes, and they, and, and to see that, but it, it just boosts. It, it, it tells me I can do it. Yeah. But I understand. That's why I said the word is vulnerable. Yeah. So I can understand it. But. I thought people want people to be themselves. I thought that's what I thought that's what made the world go around. You be when yourself. you be yourself, sometimes it takes you a little bit longer to get to the top. I think, but you think so? I think so. Sometimes, like in a way, I I I got could. drugged by black YouTube, which I didn't know existed. And what the hell is that? It's like black Twitter when black people get this might be a media store. thing. This, you said something like black Twitter too. I don't yeah, know. that child. Listen, so basically. Let me see who I want my life. It's an app or something? It's a new No, app. it's just YouTube. It's the black people on YouTube and the black people on Twitter. Okay. So here's the thing. I got to check my live real quick. So I had a young man come on my show, right? He came. He brought two girls on the show. Mm. He introduced the two girls as his artists. Mm. Okay. I was with him. Cool. They his artists. They had a little girl. It was cool. We was vibing. Everybody was happy. The girls, you know, did they little solos or whatever. Everything was good until it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. A couple of weeks after they sat right there on that couch and he sat right where you were, he killed one of the girls. Huh? This is real life, I swear to God. This is real life. Real, you see, JoJo said yes, this is real life. It shocked everybody at this station because we was all here with these people, talking to them, talking about their careers and their dreams and where they was going to get ready to go. Blah, blah, taking pictures. The baby was in my lap. He shot and killed the girl, allegedly. I'm going to say allegedly because that is the proper way as a journalist to report this story. Yeah, so I it. And yeah. I only found out because people started tagging me to the post that he and I were, were talking on mm -hmm. initially. Mm -hmm. Now, the interview was two, two weeks, you know, it, it, it had happened. The interview had already happened, had already aired. And people literally started dissecting my interview as if I knew what was about to happen in the weeks to come. I sat there, I joked with him just like I joke with you about Tinder. I sat there and I joked with him. He talked about fighting all the time and I said, well, you're not a true light skinned person because you fighting all the time. He was like, nah, I got dark, dark skin tendencies or whatever and we laughed about it because it was a joke. Mm -hmm. We all knew it was a joke, but guess what? It be it became not a joke when when that situation happened. So I have other YouTubers stealing. I ain't gonna say stealing because it's public. Cutting my interview, right? Mm -hmm. And cutting to certain comments in the interview to portray it as though it was something that it was not. Mm -hmm. I got accused of being a colorist, which I didn't even know what the hell that was. I don't even know how I could be that when I have a light-skinned daughter and a dark-skinned daughter. I just see them as my kids. So I don't even know how that could have happened. Um, I got accused of being a dingbat. I didn't even think black people used that word. I, didn't, I ain't even seen it spelled out until that day. Mm -hmm. I was a dingbat. Mm -hmm. All of this off of one interview in one situation as though I could predict the future and know what was about to happen.
Because they drug me so bad on YouTube, I saw I had to turn my comments off on YouTube. They was like, what's her Instagram? They was finna come to my Instagram and harass me. They wanted to talk about my kids who I rarely post. How you gonna feel if it's your daughter? How you gonna feel if it's this? That girl, I met that girl for five minutes and my feelings was hurt. I cried over that girl. That girl was 19 years old. My daughter is 19. Well, that girl was 20. My daughter is 20. So I hurt. Oh, good dad. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So my feelings were very hurt. My feelings were hurt as a woman. My feelings were hurt as a mother. I was just hurt all the way around. So for mm. people to take a media situation and make it seem like you heartless and you don't care and you, they act like I was in, in the space that they were with them. But the thing that pissed me off was the fact that people were doing things just for um, YouTube hits. You know, they was like, he shot her in the head. That was not true. I knew that was not true. Mm. I had been in contact with her family. I knew that was not true. But as a journalist, a real journalist, when you take the series, this ain't no YouTube shit for me. That's why I don't be caring. I understand you can get paid from YouTube, whatever. But I don't want to do what they call clickbait. I don't want to do clickbait. I don't want to sit there and tell y'all I know something that I don't know. So even though I knew the details, why am I going to put that out there for profit and for gain? I'm not going to do that. His... The other girl that was here was his baby mama. She's like, I want to come in for an interview. Ma'am, I'm sorry. We can't do that right now. We can't do that right now. This boy has an open case. <laughs> and uh, the shit just too hot for me. I'm this is, I'm not Gail. Y'all ain't R. Kelly. I can't do that shit. I don't want the ratings that bad. <laughs> like, I just don't. I don't. I don't. Like, that story hurt me. So you listen when I tell you I rethink this stuff every day because mm -hmm. that's dangerous. Who would think that shit would happen? It happened to him. No, Michael. Man, I'm gonna say, man, <laughs> you gonna get the hell out. No, man. Michael, it did not happen. But you know, I felt that way. Man, I hate that happened. I man. felt that way because that was his first. Though, they okay? Everything, everything. I don't know how he's feeling. I haven't talked to him. Uh, yeah, I haven't talked to yeah. him. I have heard he requested that I stop doing interviews with people uh, uh, that make him look bad. So I, you know, I, it's a, it's a very. Imagine her DJ just play records. Yeah, he's been to. I, I don't know what he's doing. What? I, I don't know. I think he's gonna play the video. Oh please, he got it. Yes, I, I got. He he said he do have the video. Who? He do? He, yeah. I got it in my phone. How you get it? Y'all sent it to me. Which me? I get. It. Now he got. Now he got to talk to him. Oh, right here he gonna try. So to the he got the link. Michael, I'm glad you didn't quit. Oh yeah, thank you. I'm glad you are back on the grind. You're you're doing new music. Shout out to you for your silent listening party. Okay, cool. Thank you. You the first person to ever let me get on the mic at an event. That's why. <laughs> My shit was so short yeah. because I was confused. Yeah. I didn't know, like, when you a female, you can't, you don't know what lane to go in. You don't know whether you get the mic and you be like, all right, bitches, we finna turn this motherfucking shit up. We got Michael Montana in the building, da, 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 da. Or if you got to be ladylike and be like, all right, guys, oh, here man. we go. We got that new Michael Montana. <laughs> He's about to drop, okay? So just turn your headphones on. Make sure they're on green. Turn to the appropriate station. And we're about to get lit. All right, here we go. Like, I didn't know how. I Listen, I was scared. I was telling my husband, stay next to me. <laughs> Stay next to me. Yeah, right. I, I didn't know what was gonna right. happen, but you but thank it. you for giving me my first uh, MC I'm about to redo it. opportunity. You gonna redo another one? Okay. Public. It's big. It's gonna be public. Yeah, put you down. Thank you. And I, and I appreciate the I flowers for sure. I appreciate you. Nah, Michael. congratulations to you as well. Thank you. You know, I I got a blue screen now. We we on our way to BET. We going to the BET next year. Man, We're gonna be on the red man. carpet. Big Jeffersons. That's that's what we doing. Moving on up. Man, okay, what we gonna play, JoJo? I'm 
I'm grabbing a bow, her waist, she grab my hair, I got it on lock, down on beat, they can't like right now, let's shot away snatch. Got down, she one of her kind, got down, I'm hitting it from the back. I'm throwing the money up, cook up the money, I have a penny racks. You know I got it, I won't it, I kept it, I got it, I own it. Don't fuck nigga mad that I'm ballin', cause I got them racks. Man, we on the post up. You see what I'm saying? And I'm posted up. With Mo Clark. Michael Montana. Yeah, let's go. Great games are coming out on deluxe. Video on the way, let's get it. Yeah. I'm on TV. I'm on TV. Right on me right now, no Stacy having me right down. Got 25 Wait a in my life. That might have me audition for the pink pony, too. For real, you should. You can tell what you should go do. Uh oh, bye, body. Huh? I'm listen. Matt Black Nico. Friday, I'm on the internet. I'm trying to see who got the bodies for sale. No, you need to go to the uh, man. I think they're doing audition for dance too, man. The, uh, let me call him. Hold on. <laughs> Listen, okay, if they, yeah, I got if they hear my knee counts, they gonna be like, oh, that bitch is too Man, bad. my man down there at P Valley, man. P Valley? I, I, think, like, you, I, I like, think you need to get down I, I like P Valley. I don't, I, listen. I they they, they been having some shootouts lately, but that's that all of Atlanta. New, that's that all be the new of thing. Atlanta. Yeah. I am so happy that you did not give up on your dream. Thank Imagine you. Imagine how you would feel 25 years later. Man, I'd giving be, up on your dream, you'll be so resentful. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, yeah, I'd be, yeah, yeah, you're right. And listen, it is hard to date a resentful nigga. Trust me, I done dated a few of them, and they be mad at you for no reason. They be like, "Why you trying to sell lipstick? Don't nobody wear lipstick." Nigga, cause, oh yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. shit crazy. Right? Yeah, it is. But then you find out it's because he secretly wanted to be. A okay. dancer in his life and he didn't go through his dream so now he don't want you to sell your little 50 bags of lipstick that you got so now you sitting at home with inventory obviously as i'm telling this story you can tell i done been through some shit for sure bro but keep i'm going, just letting bro. you know you keep going i got lipstick i got lashes i got eye shelter i got jewelry i got first where you go find it at, man at my house <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't put on a from website yet? No, I got, I got a website, but okay, I'm redoing yeah, yeah. that because I want sure. the ladies to be, you know, people be, people say dumb shit. They be like, you have your stuff on Instagram. You be like, DM me, PayPal me, Zell me. They be like, you ain't got no website. Listen, when you pay for a website, you got to pay for the host fees and all that. I'm not going to keep paying for that shit if y'all not even clicking on it. Now, get your yeah, goddamn life yeah, together yeah, and buy the yeah. shit off Instagram like everybody else. It's, it's quicker. It is quicker. You get free shipping. I'm offering y'all a better chance at life. I'm just trying to tell y'all. I got rainbow fur slippers that look like teddy bears. That was my contribution to the LGBTQC AC community. No status. Yeah, that that's what it was. It's been a pleasure having you here, Michael. It's, it's a it's a beautiful season. It is. It's a beautiful I'm, season that we. So you got this now. video on the way. You already start filming. Which one? Oh no. I, I, I just did this. Oh, I'm about to do a crazy movie, bro. It's going to have your little man in the cowboy boots that you like to play. Kyle Fuck Love, huh? The man, the, the character. Michael you play. Yeah, with the man, cowboy boots. Man, I'm bringing boots. that boy. See, see, I had. I ain't seen him lately. Yeah, man. Kyle, I, I, I got work on me. 
Yeah, I, 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 all I've been doing is working out. I mean, working, working out. I ain't never had, I ain't, I don't know if I can groove yet, but I think I'm going to try. I think I'm going to bring them back. I said I'm going to bring them back one time. I got to stretch out, get my shit together, you know what I'm saying? I ain't been doing that because you got to, you know, home used to get down. I don't have them boots on, man. You can go buy them. you some knees. If they yeah. buying bodies, you can buy some knees. I'm just saying. Yeah. If you go buy some No, ain't no on my knee. I just got to get back healthy. Bro. Like, you hear me? Because that boy hop out there whip and get that. But right now, boy, I might hop out there whip and fall back. Put him on Tinder. And what is that? Is that, a, is that real or something? That is, is very, that? that is very real. Like, he's going to look it up in the car and he's going to be like, what the hell, Mo? For real? Yeah. Tinder. It's it's a loving website. Or maybe you like Bumble. Do you like Bumble? I don't even know. Don't it's, a, it's a dating website. It's supposed to be better than Plenty of Fish. Tinder is the new Plenty of Fish. Oh, you're making though. up stuff. Hey, go ahead. I'm not yeah. making up shit. That's real. Listen, That's real. clearly, I... I Listen, dating sites never worked out for me. Tinder? This is not like Tinder. This is it, that's crazy the, hell. Listen, Tinder. Oh, I don't know what's called Black Planet. Yeah, well. They're back there on Facebook, but they're right beside each other, but. What, Facebook? But Facebook, then get what you do. Get what you do. No, what? it was MySpace, Black Planet, then Facebook. And then this, then what this here? What this world right here? The phone sex line. <laughs> hey, my name is Bob. And I'm looking. Press one. But I had to leave a Press. voicemail. Press one for Oh my God. Press two for boom. Now you're online with somebody probably right by your net down and you might be on the phone with your sister. That shit's crazy. Man, that sh shit is I'm mad because I legit we remember phone that stuff. Two grade. I remember that stuff. <laughs> but you know what? The phone, the dating phone was a little bit better because people couldn't yeah. see you. Yep. They couldn't see you, so they, you know, it wouldn't have been no Britney Renner situation. I'm sorry, I had to bring you back that shit. It wouldn't have been no IG models. Listen, if y'all would have had IG back in 1990, I would have been rich by now. I promise you, because back then we used to have to take pictures with the Polaroid camera, and we used to have to shake that shit like this and let it dry. You couldn't post that shit nowhere but on your wall. So I'm going to tell you right now, had it been like that, y'all bitches would have stood no cheese. Generation. We just stood no chance. This I'm sorry. Generation, man. This lit. Now you take pictures in it. You know, it's a video app that let you edit your, your body in your videos. So you might be a pleasantly plump. I'm not going to say fat. You might be pleasantly plump, but you want the boys to think you curvy, right? So you film the video, and then before you post the video, you edit whatever you want. Because this is a new way to trick niggas. Really, it is. Because, you know, most of the time people be like, oh, I don't believe you look like you say send me a video. Well, now bitches can fix the video. I'm just here to let y'all know the days of the neck ups are done. Now they can edit their videos. Okay. You know what I'm going to say after that? Talk to him, Tanner. No Good status night. out right now. You get what I'm saying? Talk to him, Tanner, out right now. You know what I'm saying? It's the number one song in the country right now. Rack A is going to be, it is the number one song in the country right now. Mo Clark, we in the building on the post up, man. Tell everybody where they can find you at, sir. Hey, man, listen. I'm on YouTube, Michael TV. Um, uh, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Michael, Michael Montana. Yep. And he's about to go on Tinder and Bumble. So, ladies, if you're searching, I don't know if it's going to be Michael or Dolomite, but I will convince him to get on Bumble so that everybody can have equal opportunity. Man, they had better you know get on motherfucking my link in my bio or download this music. And it's just on Tinder. What? You going what on Tinder? Tinder? You going on Tinder? Yeah, no, nah, they need to come on my Tinder. My Instagram. You still don't get this shit. It's okay. I'm gonna show. I'm about to show him in just a minute. It's your girl it's Mo really Clark real. with the post up. Follow me on IG at Miss Mo Clark. Also follow the post up. That's D A P O S T U P. And you know what? Since Christmas is on the way, go ahead and follow Status Network and tell Jack I sent you because I would like a pay increase. Thank you. Oh shit. <laughs> Posted with the poster. Uh, so long and ready, uh -huh. ready, uh -huh. ready uh -huh. with the poster. Uh, so long and ready, uh -huh. ready uh -huh. yeah. 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 the television. We keep it going, ain't no intermission. From the streets to the television. We keep it going. 
know we poppin', just name a topic. Post it up like a palm tree in the tropic. Rizzy on the beat, make you wanna come and see. Uh, Mo to the C, radio to TV. You know she puttin' in work like she clocked in. Celebrity guest, never guess who gon' drop in. Television's best, like a S on the chest. Who's next? Say less, cause you rockin' with, you rockin' with the best. Mocha, post it with the poster. Stay in turn on your 